I guess um, you know, I dreamed of being All Black since I was six when I first uh, you know, started playing rugby when my, my old man first threw me in there at Rumataka in the sixes. I remember when I first got, got picked, um, we, we played the final against Canterbury, uh, NPC I think it was back then, or New Zealand Cup. Can't keep changes every five minutes, I can't keep up with it. Um, anyways, and we were in a change room, we just lost, and I heard the coaches and that talking, uh, Jamie Joseph and that talking, and they mentioned a few names here, yeah, they back in there, um, uh, and all that. And, I was like, and then they, I heard Ross Filippo and me, I was like, I started getting nervous, and then they said my name, you know, I was like, holy mo, you know, jeez, I've made it. A special part was when my old lady came around home the next day, and she was crying, I was like, what's going on? And she was like, oh, I remember when you were 12, and my pop had died, and I wrote him a note saying I was going to be an All Black. So she came in crying about it, saying, oh, you know, I remember you writing that note and, and putting it in there, and I was like, oh, I didn't remember, but she did, she was all tears, so I guess that was a special moment too. So, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get an opportunity to play six minutes, um, but one hell of a six minute there. So I still had a, a dream. A lot of people uh, might have given it up, um, but I, I guess it was... Uh, the only thing I thought I was good at, so, and, and it was a dream of mine. You know, I wanted to be an All Black. I remember watching Jonah mostly because he was unreal. Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Do you want me to hold it? You go here. Ah, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, when you get back in a black jersey, it's, it's something special. Um, you know, I showed a glimpse of it in the weekend um, that I can still play at this level, uh, which was. I guess good for me because I had a bit of self-doubt and uh, you know for the Hurricanes year. You know on that right wing out there training it feels like you're doing repetitive speed a lot. I had a I had a promo I was supposed to do at three so that would have gone into my gym time which I wasn't really complaining about too much because I did gym yesterday but um, yeah since I don't have the promo today it's on Friday I might go there and push a little bit of tin. Try and get as big as uh, Sunny Bill Brad Thorne guys like that. Big gears, you just seen him walk past the screen. But I might try a little bit of push a bit of tin. Yeah, I'm at the gym as you can see. My trio out with me CJ, Zach. Uh, last time I seen them, I went out to get my shoes on. They were both asleep on the bed, spooning each other. Actual, like, Zach was a little little spoon, and Zach was, uh, CJ was a big spoon. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the truth, because Izzy, you know, anyone in it that knows him knows that he never tells the truth. Um, I, was, uh, I was in their room actually and he has to go to the gym because he's injured and, he, and he's getting fat so he has to go as much as he can. And he was saying about me spooning. It's him and Zacky boy. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm putting that on Twitter and they're like, I don't care. And then I put it on Twitter and they go, did you? And I said, yeah. And they're like, no, no. It's like, well, too late. It's good when a, when a fan sees you or out on the, you know, out of rugby, you might be at a mall or some like that and they'll come up or you walk past and you know, too scared to come up. Well, I was too scared when I was young to go talk to people, so um, I'm too scared to talk to them now. But, uh, you know, when you hear that or if someone comes up and wants a signature or, or a photo, um, some, something special, the um, you know, best feeling is when someone says, uh, you're my favourite rugby player or, you know, I want to I wanna play like you when I'm older. But, Do you remember I'm your favourite, you know, you're my favourite player? And I was thinking, does she think that I'm like Dan or someone? Because no one bloody knows who I am around the world. And... And I was like, oh, that's cool, like, you know, and she goes, don't you remember me? Come on, Corey, you must. And I was like, oh, cool. Every opportunity I get, um, go out there and, and uh, I guess, do the business, you know, do my role well. Um, like I said, if I can put a bit of hot sauce on top or a bit of sugar, um, that'd be special. But, you know, basically just to go out there and, and enjoy it and take every opportunity I can get. Um, you know, if I'm around to, for the next few games or if I make the World Cup, well, that's a plus. But at the moment, I'm just trying to enjoy myself. He's gonna drop it. Oh no. <laughs> Payback. Payback. <laughs> oh, Took it at pace though. Took it at pace.